Today we're going over the ultimate speedster himself, Octane. While Octane might not be the most popular legend in the game, his unique personality leads him to be picked up quite often. Today we will be giving you an overview of his abilities, the changes that have happened to him recently, ranking him in the meta, and providing you with some in-game examples to help you master the man with the metal legs. I'm Tim Provision, and let's jump right into it. As with all the guide videos on this channel, check out the pinned comment down below with all the changes that have happened to Octane since the launch of this guide video. This comment will constantly be updated by myself and is where we will be keeping you all in the know with how Octane is currently performing and any buffs or nerfs he may have had since the video was posted. At the launch of Season 7, Respawn gave Octane a small buff, but a pretty significant one by doubling the healing rate of his passive ability from 0.5 health per second to 1 health per second. We will go over more on this shortly, but if you are a returnee to Octane, keep this in mind as he does get his health back much faster now. If you guys do enjoy the video, find it helpful, or if you just want to support me, be sure to hit that like button, and I truly do appreciate your overwhelming and continued support. First up is one of the most underrated abilities that Octane does get and is often overlooked. This is his passive ability, Swift Mend. Swift Mend lets Octane get a passive health regeneration of one health per second, while not taking damage, of course. If Octane does take some damage, it is a couple of seconds before the health regeneration will start to happen, this passive even restores health when you are knocked, but will not prevent you from bleeding out as this is on a set timer. This ability is not strong enough really to save you from dying. If you are in a longer fight though, you will have that passive health regeneration, which does matter a little bit as you will not need to use as many syringes, and you should always be shielding up first since you do have this passive health ability. Next, we have Octane's tactical ability, which is his stim. This stim allows the user to move faster for 6 seconds. Normal movement speed is increased by 30%, and sprinting is a whopping 40% faster. On top of this, there is only a 2 second cooldown, allowing you to spam the ability in rapid succession if you please to do so. One thing to note that, this tactical does come at the cost of 12 health per every use. If you are lower than 12 health, you will just be put at 1 health. You cannot directly kill yourself when using the stim. You can also virtually do everything you can normally do when you are stimming. You are able to shield or heal, you are able to aim down sights, and you are able to shoot and reload. There are a few things to keep in mind when using the stim ability. First off, the stim can be used to remove slow effects. An example of this would be getting stunned by an arc star. If you pop the ability just after getting hit by that arc star, you will have the slowdown effect removed. Take care not to pop the ability before getting stunned, as this will not negate the slowdown effect. Another obvious thing to know, but is worth mentioning, is to not use the stim too much if you are heavily in the storm, especially without healing. You can quickly lose your health and get knocked if you are spamming this ability when rotating in the storm. On the other side of things though, there are scenarios where it could be useful popping at once just to get yourself out of the storm if you are chasing the edge of the circle that is closing. We will go over more scenarios where you can use this stim ability shortly, but first let's review Octane's ultimate ability. His ultimate is the launch pad. This is exactly as it sounds. You can place a launch pad that you can jump off of every 60 seconds which is one of, if not the fastest regenerating ultimate in the game. Up to four of these can be placed on the map at once. After taking the initial launch from the pad, when in midair, players do get a double jump allowing for a slight boost in height or range. The big thing in my eyes with this double jump is the ability to completely redirect your momentum, which can make for some crazy plays as well. It is worth noting you cannot double jump when you are downed or using heals. The best moment when it does come to this double jump with the launch pad is to hit the second jump when you are starting to lose momentum. This would be just when you are starting to come back down to the ground or right after the peak height of your jump. A pro tip to get a bit extra height and distance to your jump pad launch is to jump just as you're coming in contact with the pad. This will make you launch a bit higher and thus getting a bit more distance as well. For the ultimate jump pad experience, you will want to stim before hitting the pad, slide onto the pad, and jump just as you are hitting this launch pad. It can take a bit to perfect this action, but this does give you a good boost of momentum and can allow for those bigger plays. 
Let's now go over some plays and show you how you can all use Octane's abilities to really benefit yourself and your team. Firstly, in my opinion, the stim really gets the most benefit in two situations. The first is to honestly be using the stim a lot in the early game, especially when looting. The ability to move 40% faster than your opponents, allowing you to loot faster and push choke points, can be underestimated in the early game. This will also give Octane an edge on catching the enemies off guard once he has looted. This rolls right into the fact that the stim is superb and best used when you are initially opening an engagement. The ability to quickly swoop in on enemies can be a big way to get the first shot and the first knock on enemy teams. Pairing the stim with a jump pad is just a bonus. Not only do you go further, but you'll be able to push angles that only Pathfinder or Horizon can really contest with. You should take care and it should be noted that you are honestly putting yourself out there to be lasered when you are jump padding though. Anytime you leave the ground in a shooter game, you will lose control over some of your movement, thus making some of your movement more predictable and easier for enemies to line you up. Luckily, we do have the double jump to negate some of this. This is just something to keep in mind and try to take care not to jump the pad right onto enemy teams that already have a line of sight on you. The first example I'm going to showcase you is when I launch pad on this enemy. I drop down low to help out my teammate and then we are pushed into a weird situation where there's a lot of people around us. Instead of me just running up the stairs, I throw down that launch pad and jump right on this wraith and I manage to get the knock. And immediately after this, I'm so low health, I don't even care at this point. I just pop my stim to get faster movement speed since I am already virtually one shot from being dead. So just keep that in mind. If your health gets really low, don't be afraid to pop that stim because what does it matter at that point? Another huge thing Octane can do is to use that double jump as a distraction or fake out method. You'll see here in this end game situation, I get all the way down to 10 health. I fake jump pad to have the enemy think I am getting height on them. So when they do come around looking for me, they are already looking up and I am fortunate enough to destroy them in a very clutch win and fight. You don't always need to take the Octane's abilities literally, have some creativity and fun when playing with him. There isn't any other legend in the game that is so meme worthy and fun to play as Octane. Octane stim ability is also superb to close the gap on enemies running away from you after you get some nice shots on that enemy. You can see here this lifeline is really far across the map and I am able to quickly run her down and stop her from healing. I also throw down that jump pad to get that little bit extra boost towards her chasing her down really efficiently. And she's already trying to drone up and heal up but I'm there so quickly and we are able to finish her off quite efficiently. The next few things are general tips you should keep in the back of your mind as options that you can rely on when in engagements. Octane has this stim ability and the jump pad and most people think of using these to make huge plays on enemies to get those crazy clips. But you can also use both of these abilities to also retreat and get out of sticky situations. Even though you might be low shields and low health, sometimes popping that stim at 40 health could be a solid play if it does mean getting around that corner just fast enough to get out of the line of sight of enemies. Another thing I don't mind doing is that if I am extremely low health, say sub 20 health, but I happen to battery up or shield up to like 125 on the red evo, I don't mind spamming my stim as my health is already super low. This will give me free reign and movement without having to really worry about my health in the immediate engagement. Of course, you will need to be a bit more concerned about things like caustic gas or storm damage, that could take you out immediately. I generally only play like this if I am already in a fight and trying to support my teammates. The launch pad can also be used to do things such as move down teammates, throw the pad next to a teammate and have them walk on it. This will move them potentially to a better spot for a revive. Similar to this, you can also place the jump pad at the foot of doorways or skinny hallways. If the pad is on a door and an enemy tries to enter the room, it can either bop them from entering or if they do enter, they will more than likely be super disoriented and allowing you to get the first shot on the enemy that could be panicking. In line with this, you do get the pads every 60 seconds, so don't be afraid to place them down frequently. You already get them so fast and you might as well use them to help your team rotate, get height, get out of engagements or get into engagements. Be creative and have fun with Octane. Don't take him too seriously. Now let's show off one more engagement where we do link all of Octane's abilities together. This is an early game fight where we are getting pushed while in this building in hydroponics. We use that launch pad to cover one of the doors so we already have one doorway kind of covered. Eventually this team does push into us and stuff starts to get a little hot and a little crazy. I'm able to drop that launch pad outside the building after getting bodied for a good amount of health. 
and I go up on the building. I'm not trying to get any distance with this jump pad or anything, but I just place it on the ground and pretty much go straight up, giving me enough time to heal up. So right there is a good thing to keep in mind. You can place that jump pad and really just go up straight in the air to get a little bit of height. Likewise, with me getting a little bit extra height, this also gives me an advantage over the enemies because now I have that high ground. I'm able to shoot down on them instead of vice versa. During this, my health is actually only about at 40 health and I'm shielding up. I'm never using any sort of syringes or anything, but my health is naturally coming back almost all the way up to like 80 or 90. Right after we finish this first team, we are getting pushed by a second team. Throughout all of this, I'm keeping my cool. I'm using Octane's abilities to its fullest. I know I have that passive to regenerate my health over a little bit amount of time. So I'm trying to draw out the engagement. I'm using the jump pad to redirect to get height. And I'm all in all trying to just keep myself in the game as long as possible using Octane's abilities. So where does Octane rank for me in the overall meta of Apex Legends? This is honestly tough for me. Playing Octane is a lot of fun. However, I need to be objective and realize that Octane does have very low team composition value and is a relatively simplistic character. The developers have stated that they are aware of this and they do like how Octane is more of a sillier, more of a fun type of character to play, doesn't take things too serious. I think all of this character does give Octane a bit more enjoyment to play, which of course is what we are really playing games for. It should all be about fun. But in terms of the meta, I do put Octane towards the bottom of my list because he just doesn't have enough to make him a viable teammate and his abilities are still underwhelming to something like a Bloodhound scan or Horizons tactical and ultimate. Of course, the usefulness of Octane and every legend in Apex is really down to the player and how they can make the fullest out of his abilities. So there you all have it. That is some tips and tricks to get you on your way to mastering Octane in Apex Legends. One of the funniest characters in all of Apex and one of the funnest to play in my opinion. If you guys like this video again, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends guides, tips and tricks and content that is always on the way. I appreciate all of your support as of late. It has meant the world to me. If you have any more questions, don't be afraid to stop by one of our Twitch streams, 8 p.m. Eastern daily. And also you can join our community discord. Links are all down in the description below. Till next time my name is tim provision this was another guide in the master guide series have a good one peace out